What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Shadow of the Earth Tree. Might be the finale episode. Uh, last episode, we took out the fingers, the final fingers boss here, the uh, fingers and ruins of Mitra, the mother of fingers. We took her out, uh, finished out this whole cathedral thing, uh, killed everybody there because obviously it's a Souls game and everybody dies. One last thing to do, and that is going to be the fissure. So let's go down the fissure and uh, knock that out, and we'll wrap this let's play up, basically. Uh, let's, there we go. All right. Let's see what the fissure is all about. Imagine this is like a whole underground area that we have to do yet. Like this is like stretches like out over everything. Imagine if that's the case. I wouldn't put a pass for himself though. I guess I already got a grease down here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Can I use torrent? No, I cannot. So we're in a legacy. Oops. And first death to gravity. All right, let's go. Hence why they put a grace right there, because I'm sure many people have done the same thing I did. Alright, let's try this again and watch our step this time. So that goes that way? Then there are two ways to go here? Hmm. Yeah, there's two ways to go here. Hmm, you are heavy, aren't you? Man, those things are tanky. Jumping ahead. Man, everything is so dark down here. I'm not gonna bother with these dudes, man. They're they're just really damn tanky. <laughs> Something around the corner though, sure. Item. Can't go that way. Can I go this way? Wait, maybe I can go that way. It's so hard to see here. I can't even see if that's something I can jump onto. I don't think so. Maybe that's where I go? Nope. That is not where I go. Let's forget about our runes and just just figure out how to get down from here because this thing is quite annoying. <laughs> oh, blood fiends! Ooh, you are weak. You are very weak. So blood fiends are down here, meaning this is a... I wouldn't think this is blood. This feels like St. Trina to me. Like, this has the St. Trina vibes. What the heck? Why didn't I... Dude, what the heck is wrong? I, like, swung my axe and it didn't kill the thing. That was weird. Like I was saying, though, this has, like, St. Trina, like, vibes of purple, you know? So, I think it's going to have something to do with that, if I had to predict. I saw that coming. What 
What the heck? Shit, we got two of those things. I kept whiffing, he kept whiffing, we all just kept whiffing there. That was ridiculous. I haven't really got to try this one yet, have I? Let's try the porcupine one. Oh, you can't poise through things. Uh, if you could poise, that might be good. But the fact that you can't poise might not be the best. A lot of these things down here, isn't there? Backstab, maybe? What if I can backstab these dudes? Oh, yeah, I can. Try introspection. Probably don't have to fight you, but ah, crap. That's such a cool Asher War. This axe is definitely a favorite for this DLC. <laughs> Alright, so we got a... Scatter tree. I abandoned here my love. So Mikola was here. Got a ghost dude over here. Let's see what he has to say. Finally, Mikola, I see you've thrown away something you should not have under any circumstance. Oh, his love. How will you salvation offer to those who cannot be saved? When you could not even save your other self. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I had to try. Be wary of liar. Oh, we're way underwater here, aren't we?
Ah, death birds. Let's go. Get off my ass. Betrayal ahead. I don't believe it. Really? You don't believe betrayal ahead? Yeah, this is like the same things that were found in Kaled, so... And that was over by St. Trina's grave, too. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that St. Trina is what this is going to have to deal with. Are you having for me over here? You got those things, you got a bird up there. Come on, bird. Thank you. Some glove work. It. Anything else up there that you're hiding? Can I even get up there? I might be able to walk this ledge. No, I can't walk that ledge. What is that purple thing up there, maybe? Is that just a flower? Only I had a horse. Behold up. Yeah, I see that. I don't know what that is. Oh, you can't power... Nah, you can't power jump that. Alright, well maybe it comes around or wraps around. I want to know what that purple thing is. Unless you can get it from up here, maybe. bird I'll fight you so that led over here now is there a way to drop down maybe onto that Maybe. Maybe if I drop her up here, because that item is like over there. No, that's way too high. That's way the heck way too high. Um, okay. Maybe on this side there's a shorter drop down? That wraps around into there? They don't want us to have that item, do they? Huh. Kind of weird. Alright, whatever. It's probably just a flower, but... It just looked cool. Those things are snipers. Dude, what the heck? Can't get a lock on you. That was weird. Yeah, those ones blow up.
We got another sniper. We'll just hold up our shield and make our way over here. What? How can he even? Okay, let's take. Let's get rid of him. Bro, you need to stop. What the heck? Why can't I lock onto that dude? I can't lock onto. Bro, <laughs> this, this would help if I could lock onto him. I couldn't lock onto him. Hey, is that that purple thing? That's that purple thing, I think. He really, Miyazaki really loves these things, doesn't he? Just want to explore, man. Just want to explore. Without getting sniped. Is there anything else down here that we missed when we were trying to run through all that? Alright, doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, shield is the way to play this DLC. You know, normal Elden Ring didn't really need a shield. There's been numerous times in this DLC when a great shield has come in very, very handy. Once again, great shield come in handy. If I didn't have a great shield, I probably would have died there. Behold calmness. Oh, grace. Nice. Hmm. What's up here? Anything? No. Okay. Imagine there was an enemy right there that just pushes you off. Surprised there wasn't. <laughs> I'm really surprised there wasn't. Lords of the Fallen would have done that for sure. They would have put a spear dude there just for the heck of it. Even though it didn't make sense to lore, they would have put a spear dude there just to jab you off the edge. I know I bashed that game a lot, but I actually, I, I enjoyed Lords of the Fallen. It was a fun game. But it just, it doesn't compare to Soul, to, you know, FromSoft, you know, FromSoft just does stuff differently. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna need my, uh... Alright, well we're gonna need my holy weapon here. Mr. Skelton. Wants to be dim. Oh, you got a little sword and shield. That's nothing compared to my sword and shield. Be wary of plump sword. 
do we have to kill this thing? I'm thinking we kind of do, don't we? Alright. Let's uh, do some dragon breath, maybe? That did not do as much as I was hoping. Um, what about Mesmer's Orb? Oh, that did sucky damage, man. Alright, maybe they're weak to fire, just regular fire? Giant's Flame take B? Dude. Okay. That's pretty good damage. Uh, I thought maybe he was covering a hole or something we had to go down. He was not, so you really don't have to kill him. There's a hole up there. Oh, that's actually pretty good damage against these dudes. So these dudes might be weak to holy. Is that a... Oh, it's a misbegotten. I haven't seen one of these things in a while. Oh, shit. Oh shit. I was not ready for your s holy shit. Multi layered rings of light. That's cool. Another holy spell? We didn't even give him a chance to use it. Two different ways to go here. We've got... Oh, maybe not, maybe not. I thought there was, but... More of those purple flowers over here. I wonder what you can craft with these. Nectar Blood Burjon. Burjon. Sounds like a uh, French cuisine. I would like one Burjon with my Expedrasso. And that's my bad French accent right there. I've been to France before. It's a pretty nice place. I mean, eh, I don't know. It's not a nice place. It's a unique place. It's a pretty dirty place. It was fun to go. I went to the Louvre when I was there to see the really big museum there. Fun trip. Okay, why are all these animals just down here? This is creepy. They're alive. They're... Are they sleeping? Oh, they're sleeping. Saint, yep, St. Trina. How did I know? I knew it because of the purple. <laughs> Definitely St. Trina. Uh, we probably should rest here. I used... a few of those flasks to take out that thing. Jumping ahead. Offer healing, so to speak, praise the message. Oh, please grant me the courage. To fly to your feet, my dearest. Saint Trina. Let's go. We get to fight Saint Trina? Jumping. Oh, jumping. So it's like Madeir. Oh, please don't be like Madeir. Please do. I take that back. Please don't be like Madeir. All right. 
what do we got going on here? Ah, seems familiar. Seems like Madeir, doesn't it? <laughs> Feels a lot like Madeir. I'm not gonna summon right away. I wanna learn the boss. This is Saint Trina? No, Persigan Knight. This can't. Oh, okay. This is like Bloodborne, man. Has a Bloodborne, like, Orphans of, Co Orphans of Chaos, I think? I want the weapon. Okay, so he has big, heavy swings. Weak to holy, it looks like. Good damage. Probably two phase fight. So, what is that? That I'm taking damage from. A lot of damage from. Is it fire? Oh, it's frostbite. Okay, I need to. I need a frostbite. Then can. I need to make frostbite. Uh, so I can roll through that actually. Oops, wrong button. There has to be a second phase to this. Yeah, there has to be a second phase. I'm taking, I'm chunking his health away. This is not what I was picturing I was going to fight down here. I actually didn't know what I was going to fight, but I didn't picture this. Um, so it's weak to holy. We know that much. Holy damage does a lot to this thing. Uh, what we do need to do, though... Go back to that. Or, wait a second here. Is that the same great? I think that's... Yeah, that's the grace. Uh, let's go back to there real quick and put on magic... Of, or cold frost. Cold affinity on our shield. I think that'll help a lot. Uh, let's see here. We got barricade shield. Shield crash. This was skill hold shield aloft to imbue yourself with golden power, granting momentary invincibility. Invincibility. FP cost is twenty. Well, so barricade is probably better. Let's do that and let's enchant it with magic. Let's enchant that with magic, or even maybe cold. That way, Frostbeat, maybe. And then let's try... I mean, he's Frostbite, so I'm thinking if he's Frostbite, maybe Fire would be good against him? But Holy, we already noticed, though, is good, though. So we can use Holy damage. Let's try uh, Great Stars. Uh, let's put this back on this. Let's try that load out. See if that can shut some of his stuff down. Um, this armor, though. What about this armor on negation? Magic is 13. Uh, thir Magic is 13, 12. There's a 14. 13, 12, 13, oh, probably. No, R Rolana's armor's not good here. That's surprising. Magic is only 12. I have actually more with the Crucible Knight set. That's crazy. Royal Knight armor is stronger against magic. Might put that on. Even though I do not like that aesthetic. 
Yeah, I do not like that aesthetic. I can't. I can't, man. Can't. <laughs> you gotta look cool when you're slaying bosses, man. You can't. You can't look. It's Souls fashion, you know. It's. It's a thing. When you know, you know. You gotta look cool slaying the boss. Oh, so that helped a lot with damage negation. So his weapon is magic. And I'm still putting out monstrous damage too. Good. That's gonna shut that shit down. Ooh, yeah, there we go. I was going to counter that one. try. Oh shit, I just forgot to shut that shit down. So yeah, it does better damage, negation. Yeah, a lot better. Oh shit. Damn. Yeah, get back on that horse, man. You're easy to fight when you're on the horse. There's not a second phase to that fight? That's crazy. Remembrance of Putrescent. Pooch Putrescence. Alright, well it is a remembrance boss. Is this this can't be it. There's no way. No, it keeps going. It keeps going. I knew it. There had to be more. There had to be more. Oh, maybe not. Ah, uh, lovable sword. I'll speak time for grass. Likely you don't have the right. Is this... What is this thing? St. Trina's Blossom. St. Trina's Disciples Cookbook. And all these things, too. So maybe we can craft something good? a safe area. Why is this a safe 
carry. Oh, because you're supposed to do something with this, maybe? Tranquility ahead. There's a reason this is a safe area. Why? Why is this a safe area? How did somebody die back here? Um... Okay, let's read the cookbook. Lulling branch slowly builds up sleep while gradually restoring FP. Is that what we got from that? That's it? Try crafting one. Do we use one here, maybe? Wait, so... Slowly builds up sleep while gradually restoring FP. Nice. So this... Hmm. What happens when we sleep, I wonder? We're going to find out here in a second because we're going to go to sleep. There's something about this statue, though, that's supposed to happen here. Okay, what happened there when I fell asleep? Anything? Huh. Is there anything else that I got here? Okay, let's read about some stuff here. Remembrance of Putrescence. All tainted flesh eventually becomes Putrescence, and this clump of it embedded St. Trina's nectar, which granted its eternal rest. And so it was that Putrescence became her knight. Huh. Why is this a safe area, though? There's something here. There's something to do here. Like, St. Trina, she's sleeping right there on the ground, right? Am I supposed to use an emote? Probably not, but maybe. No, that didn't do anything. It's a safe area. Why is this? A, let's rest at the grace real quick. Garden of Deep Purple. Let's rest at the grace and come back and see. Because there's something there. There's something there. You don't just add a safe area when you can't interact. This is so weird. Looks like she's hold or wants to hold something. Are we supposed to restore something in her hand? The fact that this is a safe area really is boggling my mind. There's something we're supposed to do here. Do we have anything that goes for St. Trina? Ring of Mikola? Rest?
Huh. Okay, let's go to... Maybe I'm supposed to get an item from that Remembrance and bring it back to her. Putricent's Cleaver. Spinning Guillotine. Gains power from the Wheeler's Arcane Attribute. So it's an attribute. It's his Arcane... Oh no, it's not bad. Arcane is 15. That's not bad requirement. Hold the Putrid Blade at both ends and arch the body backwards to deliver a powerful overhead chop. Repeating inputs deliver follow-up attacks for as long as the stamina allows. Strong attack performs a leaping followed by a spinning attack. Sorcerer used by the Pertuant Knight. Launches a whirlwind of Pertuant Jets that explode shortly thereafter impacting them bathe the area in Ghost Flame. Oh, it's Ghost Flame that, that was. Okay. In an age-long past, death was burned by Ghost Flame. Even the remains of Tainted Flesh were given equal treatment and death. I'll grab that. Looks like a colossal weapon. My cup of tea. Uh, what was it? An axe? A, like a giant? Yeah. Uh, great axe. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with bringing this back? I, d I don't know. I'm kind of running out of ideas here. Uh, was there any other bell bearing that I had picked up? Maybe. Let's check that real quick. That's a weird looking sword. Or weird looking axe. So Ymir, that's just his spells. Hmm, nope, nothing there. So, what am I supposed to do with this, man? Um, this is weird. I don't know what to do here. Let's try this weapon out, though. So, it's got some short... It's pretty short range, though, too. I mean, look at how short that is for an axe. Uh, let's try this. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. So if you... It has a heavy... So if you... Okay, wait. Let's tap it once. So you do it once and then that and tap it twice. Repeated inputs. Okay. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's uh see if we can figure this out. Gotta be something here. Is there anything else here we're supposed to pick up maybe and give to her? We picked up an item a while back that was a lily. Maybe that's what we're supposed to hand here? I don't even know where that purple lily is, though. be in here, right? It was purple. It should be easy to see. Is 
Is that Talisman? No? I did pick up a purple lily, didn't I? I remember picking one up. That's so weird, though. I don't see it now. Rose in the blue flower field at the coats. Deep purple lily. This is it. His nectar lulls the embryo to sleep, velveting sleep. Huh. Let's try this again. Maybe I have to line up just right with her, maybe? Maybe I have to take a couple of those? I might have to look this up. Hmm. Um. The restores. Let's read through some of these. Maybe some of these. Warned bear use FP to summon vengeful spirits, causes a spiritual explosion, briefly blinds Margaret, uh, Nicholas Great Room. We haven't figured what to use that for yet. I don't know what we just used that, but uh, apparently it did nothing. Now we still have it though, so that's good. Um. Turns human frame into an ancient dragon and boosts dragon call incantations. What the shit is that? Uh, I kind of want to use that though to see. Oh, wait, turns. Did I read that right? Into ancient dragon. Into an ancient dragon and boosts dragon. I don't know. I'm going to have to try that, though. I want to see what that's all about. If I can turn into a dragon and fly around, how cool would that be? Um, I think we're going to have to look this one up. I don't want to, but I think we're going to have to look this up because I need to know what we do here. Give me a moment. Okay, honestly, how is one ever supposed to figure stuff out in this game? Um, so we're supposed to do this six times, apparently. So, craft six of these. And then we're supposed to just do this six times over and over again. Isn't that six? <laughs> uh, 
That was six of them, man. What the heck? I just followed what it said online to do. I'm confused. Let me read again. Give me a moment. Okay, so we're supposed to use the nectar, apparently. Uh, was the nectar the stuff that we were given that kills us, maybe? Tholian's concoction? Maybe we have to... What the heck, man? Did that do anything? I think we missed a quest line. I think I was supposed to do that quest line. Maybe and get something from Thalier. Oh shoot. Well, that's a bummer. Um, okay, well, let's wrap up there. And I guess this quest line will have to be saved for another time. Because I guess this was tied to the dude that was... I, I know exactly what this was. I, this was tied to the dude that was saying he was going to head south. So the dude that was up here said he was going to head south. He came down here. I saw him. We just never stopped to talk to him. I bet he was going to give us nectar or something to be able to use for this. Because I don't see how we have an option to do this. Uh, unless... Let's go real quick back to the grace. Unless there's a bell bearing that has the nectar. There might be a bell bearing that has the nectar. It would be the... I don't think... I think his nectar would have came... Hmm. I think that has to come from the quest line. We missed the quest line. Shoot. All right, well, let's just wrap that up there. I guess I missed that quest line. Sorry, guys. I, I was excited to see what was going to happen, but I guess nothing. Uh, let's wrap it up there. Next episode will be the finale of the game. All right, stay tuned, guys. Much more coming soon.